Arundel in Sussex and a solemn ceremony, the funeral of the 16th Duke of Norfolk, himself in his lifetime a master of ceremonial. Heading the procession, village policeman, Constable Ron White, a personal friend of the Duke. Evidence of the Duke's popularity, the crowds lining the streets of Arundel came from all walks of life. The Duke's charger preceded the cortege, boots traditionally reversed in the stirrups. The coffin was borne by eight men of the Duke's regiment, the Blues and Royals. With the Dowager Duchess, the Duke's four daughters, Ladies Anne, Mary, Sarah and Jane Fitzalan Howard. The Duke was responsible for the meticulous organising of two coronations, the investiture of Prince Charles, Sir Winston Churchill's funeral and other great state ceremonies. Into these splendid spectacles, he injected a blend of colour, tradition and a certain panache, but always too tremendous dignity. Finally, to his rest in the chapel at Arundel, the Earl Marshal of England, a noble duke, but a humble and well-loved man. At London's Olympia, the dog world's mecca, Crofts, no ordinary 